So welcome to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending July 26th, 2014. Starting with a bit of a kerfuffle last week about the date of the fourth Evangelion film. Um, the website Web the Television uh, claimed that the fourth film, uh, Shin Evangelion Gekichoban, was being released uh, at, the, at the end of the next year. Uh, and then they said, um, however, there is no official announcement of the opening date. Okay. Which m implies that somebody somewhere told them that it's coming out at the end of the year, but it's, it's, it hasn't been officially announced yet. Um, the, the official website initially listed the film for 2013. Obviously, that didn't happen. Uh, there's no longer any date. Um... Uh, the Otonafami magazine reported it will open in 2015. Um, that was after they announced it would be open in winter of 2015. So the date's been bouncing around. Um, still no news. I would probably expect it to be released at some point next year, uh, but we shall see. It's interesting in um, suggesting that uh, there's been a lot of back and forth in the film. I mean, um, normally release dates are nailed down as far in advance as possible. So this suggests that there's been some change at Studio Kara about what will be in that final film. They may have uh, rearranged some things. Big surprise. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, we still don't know. We still don't even know 2015. That's not official, apparently. Moving on to some uh, North American licensing news. Sentai Filmworks has licensed monthly girls Nozaki-kun, uh, also known as Gekan Shoujo Nozaki-kun. It's a manga. Uh, coming to anime uh, soon. It is uh, currently streaming on Crunchyroll. Uh, it's a story of a, a teenage girl who's in love with a guy who also happens to be a mangaka, uh, a manga creator, for a shoujo series that is her favorite shoujo series. Uh, she doesn't know he's the author. She ends up as his assistant. And so it's kind of a love um, thing, you know, high school love thing. Looks cute. Uh, the girl looks like basically Asuka uh, as of the... Uh, uh, the the cover image, but I haven't seen it, so that will be released uh, uh, over here on disc, it looks like. Uh, Sentai also licensed Momokun Sword, which is a series uh, retelling the, the story of Momotaro, um, but as um, girl a girl with uh, all-girl characters, basically, or mostly girl characters. Uh, it's in that recent genre thing where you... you tell a fantasy story or you retell a, a story with all-female characters. So um, uh, there was a recent series called Battle Girls, I think, that was a retelling of, um, uh, I think, uh, Tokugawa's take takeover of Japan in, with an all-girl cast. Uh, and then there was uh, Kohime Muso, which did a similar thing with a boring states period, I think. So that kind of a thing. Um, lots of busty girls um, beating up on each other. So that's the thing. Um, Section 23 has announced a license of Je Jewel Bem Hunter Lime which was a definitely a classic anime series uh, from 1996 to 1997. Um, it's an adaptation of an adult computer game. Um, it's a story about uh, magical artifacts and cute girls and, um, uh, you know, nudity, that kind of thing. The typical 90s stuff. Um, it, it was licensed over here a while back, um, at least on DVD by Media Blasters. Um, and so it uh, looks like that, this will be a new release date on November 2014 for Jewel Bem, Bem, Jewel Bem Hunter Live, the OVA. So that's pretty cool. Um, speaking of classic anime, Viz will be offering Sailor Moon, the original Sailor Moon series, uh, anime series, for digital purchase. So if you want to not watch it streaming, where it's kind of streaming in various places, um, I think it's streaming, isn't it? Anyway, um, you can buy uh, individual episodes, or you can buy all 23 of the first episodes, or the first 23 episodes, of Sailor Moon on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, PlayStation, and Xbox. Uh, they are uh, $1 each for standard def, 2 bucks each for HD, or um, uh, the entire season is 17 bucks SD, 35 bucks HD. So a bit of a discount there if you buy them in aggregate. And then the uh, Blu-ray and DVD release releases coming in November 11th, uh, or on November 11th. Uh, Nicktoons announced um, in uh, uh, in August they will be uh, airing Little Battlers Experience. This is a sort of a toy battling anime series. Um, 
this was a series that they've, that uh, Namco Bandai has actually been trying to uh, get on air over here since 2011. And um, it's, a, yeah, again, a franchise about uh, little toy robots that battle each other in cardboard uh, environments. Um, sounds like an interesting game, actually. Uh, the anime adapts a near-future plastic model-building role-playing game. Um, from level 5, they made uh, Dragon's Quest 8, Professor Layton, Inazuma 11, and uh, Gundam Age. So, cool. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. Uh, so if you are looking for, uh, looking for a, a new kids' anime, Nicktoons has Little Battler's Experience coming. Uh, and Adult Swim announced that on their Toonami block, they will be airing Gurren Lagann. That's right, Gurren Lagann will be coming uh, on at 2 a.m. Eastern, sadly, and Pacific, uh, on Cartoon Network starting August 16th. Uh, no news on how they will censor it, because as we all know, there's some racy stuff in Gurren Lagann, and so we'll see how much of that uh, they're able to air even at that late-night time slot. Moving on to some manga news... Um, let's see here, uh, Tamaki Wakaki, the mangaka behind The World God Only Knows, has announced he's making a one-shot manga called Yogashi Galaxy, also known as Western Sweet Shop Galaxy. It's about a cake shop, um, in a future where, um, or in a, um, I'm not sure if it's in the future, uh, a cake shop that services galactic customers. So we'll see. Looks like a cute little story. Meanwhile, Sora no Method, the anime, is getting a manga adaptation in a twist of how it usually goes. Starting August 27th, we'll be seeing a manga adaptation of Method of the Heavens, Sora no Method, uh, by Yuka, Nam uh, sorry, Yuka Namisaki. And it uh, looks like it'll be a pretty straight adaptation, at least thus far. Manga adaptations often uh, move in a different, different direction, so we'll see. Uh, moving on to One Piece news, a few One Piece news items. Uh, last week, there was uh, a, uh, an announcement that a One Piece exhibition was going to be cancelled. Uh, they were planning an exhibition of One Piece material uh, in South Korea um, at the War Memorial of Korea. And the exhibition was going to include like stuff with Japanese flags on them, which is kind of a touchy subject in South Korea, considering their sort of military history. Um, yeah, it was not good. So, the um, the... The folks behind it said, look, we're just going to cancel it for simplicity's sake. Interestingly, the Seoul Western District Court ruled on Thursday that uh, that exhibition can still go on. It, they, they, they believe that it's, it's okay. Um, and indeed, in specifics, they ruled that the, um, the, manga, the, the manga cannot be considered to hail Japanese imperialism just because it shows images that, um, similar to the, the, the rising sun flag. Um, also noted that the... Um, those flags are used by an antagonist in the story. Um, so they said, it, it, no, the, mu the museum should not have canceled its contract to host the exhibition um, just because of those reasons. That was, that was uh, unfair of the exhibition to cancel it. So, interesting. Uh, unusual to see a court uh, weigh in on this. I'm assuming that somebody involved uh, basically took them to court or did something. So, we'll see. Also in One Piece news, and also, by the way, no news on whether the exhibition will actually be held or not just that the court ruled that they should. Oh, well. Anyway, One Piece. Uh, there's going to be a credit card for One Piece, a, a One Piece visa. Uh, no news on whether it's going to be available outside of Japan, unfortunately. Uh, there'll be two designs for the credit card. Um, and one of the perks is that you get, you get to accumulate points as you spend money with, with a card for special original One Piece goods and merchandise and posters and all that kind of good stuff. Um, plus there'll be a lottery to win a special One Piece figure, so yeah, it's a way of buying more One Piece stuff. Um, annual fee, uh, 1,250 yen, which is darn cheap, that's like 12 bucks, um, with an active use period of five years. Um, and this is not the first time that this, uh, this bank, Sumitomo Mitsui, um, has decided to do an anime, uh, credit card. They've also done Evangelion and Black Butler credit cards before. Who wants an Evangelion credit card? What would that say about you? Hmm. Meanwhile, uh, the Tokyo Toy Show unveiled two Pokemon cars, a Pikachu and um, a Fennekin, which are rather cute. Um, uh, rather rather amazingly cute, actually. They are adaptations of a Toyo Pets, a Toyo Pet model cars, um, you know, yellow, red, all that kind of good stuff. There's, a, a, of course, Pikachu face on the front of it. A yeah, pretty impressive job, actually. Um, just more indications of anime and, and games and such moving over into real life. Speaking of video games, Square Enix has announced a Final Fantasy music contest. 
they're asking folks to send a video of themselves performing the um, the iconic main theme of Final Fantasy uh, to um, uh, to them. It must be under a minute and a half, and include a signed paper naming your favorite Final Fantasy game. Nobuo Uematsu himself will be judging the submissions, and uh, they have to be uploaded by uh, August fifth to the official website. Now, no news here if this is if this is open um, internationally either. I'm just not sure. But we will see. Uh, the the submission, the, the winning submission, will be featured uh, in an upcoming trailer for the Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call video game, plus a two round trip two round trip tickets to an upcoming uh, concert, and a, a limited edition Nintendo 3DS XL themed around the you know the Final Fantasy game. Uh, also, all 14 Final Fantasy soundtracks and a copy of the game signed by Nobuo Uematsu, plus a Final Fantasy minifigure. Pretty darn impressive. Uh, finally, moving on to some of the anime and manga releases of the past week. Um, Appleseed Alpha, out on Blu-ray and DVD at uh, $31 and $27, respectively. Uh, the Devil is a Part-Timer Complete, now available from Funimation for $70. Bucks. Uh, that's a limited edition release. Uh, the Complete series, uh, non-limited edition, is uh, $65. Hitaya, the, the Beautiful World, available on DVD as well. The uh, limited edition is $40. Uh, regular edition 35. Um, also, My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu and The Severing Crime Edge available. In manga, uh, more Battle Angel Alita Last Order, Black Butler, Blood Lad, Gantz, up to volume 32 on Gantz. Wow. Uh, also, uh, Inuex Boku SS, Is This a Zombie? Korewa uh, Zombie Deska. MPD uh, Psycho Volume 11. Watamote 4, um, Pandora Hearts, Soul Eater, Soul Eater Not. And uh, more Umineko When They Cry, because everyone's asking for that. Also, the first Excel World uh, light novel, i.e. the, you know, the, the, the book, the word versions of Excel World, is available for 13 bucks, As well as a Katsuya Terada art book is available as well for 40 bucks from Dark Horse Comics. So that's the news of the week. Thanks for watching, and uh, take care.